Okay, so today I'm going to be exploring in After Effects, and we'll be taking a look at drop shadows in After Effects. So, let's jump right in into it. So, here's a finished version of what we're going to be looking at and or doing today. Very simply, a drop shadow movement there, uh, diffused a little bit, and I turned down the opacity on it a little bit. Alright, so here I am with After Effects now open, and obviously I'm going to start out with a new composition up here. Uh, I'm going to leave mine at 2K resolution here, which is 2048 by 1152, with a frame rate of 23976. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and change my duration maybe to about 6 seconds here, so 600 for 6 seconds, and hit OK. Alright, I'm going to leave that as Comp 1 if I wanted to. I could even change it to Drop Shadow here real fast. Okay, and we'll hit Enter on that. And first we're going to start off with simply just typing up a simple title here. So uh, I'm just going to go in there and type in Drop Shadow. There you go. And as always I go right back to my arrow tool there and I'll just center that and make this a little bit bigger. Alright. So now to add a Drop Shadow onto this program it's pretty simple. You simply just go up to Effect and uh, make sure I have the layer highlighted, obviously. I'm going to go up to Effect and down to Perspective. Is where it's at. Where's Perspective? There it is. And there it is, Drop Shadow. So when I add the Drop Shadow on there, you might not notice a single difference at all, even though it's on there. But that is because my background is black. So if I was actually to go right down here and toggle my background off, you should see there should be a little bit of a Drop Shadow on there. Now if I wanted to make this more apparent, I can simply just drag my distance out. And now you can definitely see I have more of a Drop Shadow on there. Okay. Uh, you can even change the color of the drop shadow if you so desire. For instance, if I'm on a black background, I could change it so my drop shadow is white if I'd like. Okay, But I'm going to leave mine as black for right now and just toggle my background off. Or I could even go up and change my background color simply by going up there and maybe change that to a different color just so it's a little bit easier for us to see our drop shadow on there. And hit OK. And there you go. So now we can see our drop shadow with a background. All right, so now uh, it's just all about tweaking the drop shadow, how uh, how dark or light you want it to be. Whether I want my drop shadow to be really light or really dark, okay? Uh, I'm going to leave mine at 50 there. You could also play with the direction that it's going in. So I could even keyframe my directions right here if I so wanted to, simply by hitting my, uh, my stopwatch right there and moving forward in time as we always do and just changing the perspective of the drop shadow. And now if I was even to take a look at that, you will see that it will do a nice little um, kind of rotation of my drop shadow there as if the light is moving around on my object. And as always, I might lower my resolution a little bit so we can see this play a little bit better. So there it is, playing through, simply. Uh, and if I was to hit the famous U key, we could check out the keyframes there. There it is. And there I can see my drop shadow moving around. Uh, another couple things I usually like to tweak is also the distance, as we obviously can make it as close or as far as we'd like it to be. Um, and we could even keyframe that also. And a lot of times I like to bring up the softness on this a little bit, so it just makes my drop shadow a little less defined. And that is pretty much it for the drop shadow. Uh, last thing, of course, you could do is just do shadow only. But in this case, I'm going to leave that off. And one last little thing I did here just to make sure my title is uh, differentiated from my drop shadow is I simply went over here and just added a quick little outline to it. So I'm like clicking on that and I could make it bigger or smaller depending on what I desire. Uh, but for the most part, that's it. So thank you for watching my short tutorial that I had here and I hope you enjoyed it.